Today we're going to take a look at linear systems, which you probably already have some experience with. We're going to start with a warm-up. Farmer Joe had some chickens and cows. He forgot how many of each he had, but he knows there are 37 heads and 122 legs. How many of each does he have? There's many methods that you can use to solve this problem, so I'll let you go ahead and think about it and actually come up with a solution, which I won't reveal on this podcast. Um, but for the rest of this chapter, we're going to take a look at multiple ways to solve this problem. Okay, so we'll come back to this uh, eventually when we have more strategies, but you yourself should be able to think of at least one strategy to solve this. Again, here are different strategies we're going to look, be looking at throughout the rest of the unit. So again, we'll be coming back to this, solving a systems of equations. And the first method we're going to look at today is solving linear systems by graphing. So here's a situation that we're going to look at. Let's say you were thinking about getting the new iPhone 6 and you had two options. Plan A, the phone is only $2.99 a month with a two-year contract. Um, and within that contract, the voice and data is $56 um, dollars a month through Sprint. Let's say plan B, you don't want to go with Sprint. You want to get the unlocked phone, which uh, the same phone, which would be a 64 gig, would be $749. And let's say you could find a $30 a month, uh, a month plan through voice over IP, which gives you unlimited voice for free. And then, uh, well, actually not unlimited, 100 minutes of voice a month. And then unlimited data and text. So that's a huge difference, $30 versus $56. But also look at the upfront cost, the $749 to $299. All right, well, first we have to identify independent, dependent variable and um, come up with the equations so that we can graph these. So if we take a look at the variables here, um, we have cost, of course, and then um, the amount of months. So let's define these. So our variables, again, would be cost, which we're trying to figure out. There we go. All right, so here it is. The independent variable would be the number of months that you are on the contract. And the dependent variable would be the cost. And why is cost the dependent variable? Well, it depends on how many months you're go you have the phone and you have the contract. Write an equation for the situation should put for each situation in slope intercept form. What is the rate of change or the slope? All right, so we're going to start with the first equation, the starting value, 299, and it's $56 a month. So we have our starting value, 299, plus $56 per month, and x is the number of months. The second equation could be represented by y equals 749 for the unlocked phone, but it's only $30 a month the plan. All right, so the rate of change would again be the number next to the x, and then the starting value would be the price, the upfront cost of the phone. All right, now let's practice graphing each equation on the Inspire. Here are the steps. I'll pull up mine, open a new graph page. Okay, so let's go on. Let's open a new document, a graph page. Let's go, let's go. So then we're going to type in the equation for the first situation. So again, we have 299 for the phone. So we have 299 plus it's $56 a month, so 56x. All right, so if we hit enter, we'll graph that. Okay, so we see part of it. And again, think about the y-intercept. Look at how it's scaled. So we're going to have to adjust that. Before we do that, let's enter in the next equation. So it says on our directions, hit tab. There's f2 of x, the second function. And that was 749 plus 30x. Okay, and that one doesn't even show up. So the question is, how would we change our window? So right here, um, okay. To change the viewing window, we can hit menu. Remember, this is a menu-based calculator, so we can find most things under the menu. Window zoom, so menu. Window zoom is number four. 
Oops, let's try that again. Menu, Windows Zoom is 4. And we could zoom in, zoom out, we could play around with this, but if we hit um, A, Zoom Fit, it'll show most of our data. Okay, so here it is. Uh, most of our data, you can actually drag it. So I'm trying to find where they cross. It should be right there. Okay, so there's the graph. You should see that the lines intersect at a point. Let's calculate that intersection by going to menu, six and then four. So menu, six to analyze the graph, four, we want the point of intersection. And then ask for lower or left bound. This is just telling us what area it's gonna look for the point of intersection. So I'm gonna define that. I wanna look within this area for the point of intersection. And it gives us that answer right there, 17.3 and 1.27e plus 3. So let's write that down and talk about what it means. Okay, point of intersection. So again, I'll go, it was 17.3 and 1.27e plus 3. 1.27e plus 3, and that means it's scientific notation, so we're going to move the decimal 3 to the right. So 1, 2, 3, there it is, 1,270. So remember the independent variable is the number of months, and then this is the amount of money. So what does this mean in context of the problem? Well, the point of intersection is when they both, you've spent the same amount of money for both. So what this means is after 17.3 months, um, so before two years is up, you've spent the same amount on the phone and the phone plan for each phone. When would you choose plan A and why? So let's take a look at that. Plan A was blue. So plan A was cheaper up until 17.3 months. Plan A was more expensive, that phone was $749, but you can see at 17.3 months, that plan actually becomes cheaper. So if you're someone who is interested in not having a two-year contract with someone or, or saving money with that two-year contract, then actually that $749 for the unlocked phone but finding a cheaper phone plan would be the route to go if you had a two-year plan or two-year agreement for both of these plans. Okay, so you're going to practice this. There's actually, there's one more example in here. Maybe there's not. No, maybe there's not. Um, so there's some practice problems, um, page 166, number 13 and 14. So try those problems. You could do it by calculator or even by hand, but it'll ask you similar questions. Can you come up with the equation? Can you define variables? And what does the point of intersection mean? And then tomorrow we'll look at um, these types of situations in a different way to solve.